Alrighty, what's up everyone? And welcome back to Undertale. Is it a gameplay? No, of course it isn't. Today is the 5th anniversary of Undertale. Can you even believe it? This game came out like 5 years ago. If you include demo, it's like 7 years ago, but you know what I mean. More than that, this is the game that made my channel, you know, go pop up a little bit because of Undertale Ink Sands. And I'm really grateful for it, especially Toby Fox, the creator of the game. Just one person literally doing a masterpiece and then publishing it to the whole world to play it, you know. I know there have been like some other universes like um, in the past, but I've never actually included them or talked about it in my videos. So I thought that the fifth anniversary this time there's a lot of more stuff that i would like to talk about and express my gratitude towards this game i have over 60 videos of undertale and my total of 200 videos on my channel to be precise it's 69 oh very nice and the video that actually blew out on my channel is undertale ink sans the version 0.30 made by toby fell <laughs> what a coincidence toby fox toby fell okay and since then, my channel has been growing non-stop. I mean, like, after two years, this video is almost 20 million views, and I have no idea why you guys, why you guys still like it. Since then, I've tried my best to, like, you know, make some other videos, some other type of contents. And to be honest, this year, I've tried my, I've tried the hardest as I could do. I'm pretty sure I've uploaded more than <laughs> at least 20 videos this year. And it's really amazing, like, how much this game has done to me. And the community is also nice. I know that there has been some backlashes in the Undertale community back in the days, like how toxic, toxic it was. And I think that there is still, that there still is, but for the most of a part of my channel, you guys are the best like community I've ever had. So thank you very much. And I'm glad that you guys also enjoy how the way I play Undertale and the content I make about it as well. Undertale is one of those games that you don't think it's good, like until you actually play it for yourself and then get blown away by how amazing it is. I mean like even Toby Fox himself didn't know that his game would get this popular and still be alive after like 5 years and it's keep growing bigger and bigger which helped him make Deltarune I will talk about it later in this video From this note, I would like to talk about the 5th anniversary of uh, Undertale on Twitter and on its official webpage As you can see, Undertale is literally on trending right now on Twitter it's really heartwarming to see that there's a lot of people still like the game after these years and are actually celebrating it right now. Congratulating Toby Fox and Undertale on his fifth anniversary. Also, Toby Fox has made some announcements on Twitter, on his Twitter over here, that uh, about his game going sell on Nintendos and some other stuff like this. I do remember there was a time where Toby Fox actually explained some stuff on his on his Twitter about Undertale. You just have to be amazed by how freaking talented this guy is. And of course, Tammy Chang as well for uh, um, for her amazing music and art style for Undertale. She did a huge on Undertale's design. Two scaly bros go brrrr. And from there, I would like to check out the Undertale uh, fifth uh, Undertale webpage. They're promoting their anniversary concert. There will be a concert that they will be streaming on 50th of September, 7 p.m. PDT. Pacific Daylight Time, and which that is which is tomorrow for me. It will, it will be streamed on um, on its web page and also on their official YouTube channel that I just made a post on my YouTube community, so you guys can check it out there. And I'll also be putting them in the link in the description. There's also some new line stickers. I, I guess it's for the outline on the phone, right? I never use it, so I don't have no idea about that. But I would like to check out the stickers later as well with with new merchandise and. I'm sure it's designed by Toby Fox himself. And that's pretty much going on for Undertale. Here we go. So here is some... Um, this is the Deltarune status update, but here's some uh, notes from Toby Fox for the game, Undertale. If you win this, you must have been sticking around for the for about 5 years. God damn right, uh, uh, Toby Fox. Here you guys can see that since Undertale demo released in 2013, the game has really existed for 7 years. It's already been more than 25% of my life. And he has been still been going on with his game over and over again, making it better and better. I want to express my gratitude, gratitude for everyone that has supported and encouraged me over this time. Thank you. Thank you Toby Fox for, for creating such an amazing game. And... <laughs> Literally making the fandom going going really all over the years because of how a plot twisted it is. I've said it many times before, but I didn't expect this simple game I made to receive so much attention. Because of that, many interesting things have happened, and now I can even spend my time making another game, which is the Delta Rune. It seems both of us will receive a lot of happiness from this occurrence. If it's okay, I would like to keep striving to do things that make both of us happy. Let me know what you think about that. 
I think that you do whatever you want to do and as long as you enjoy doing it. I know this, that's not the case all the time, but it's still the best thing to do because it's, it keeps uh, striving, striking you up, make better things, you know? And now... Some updates about Deltrune as of September 2020. There are some pictures over here or thumbnails. As you can see over here, there's Frizz, the freaking fun gang over here. But uh, this time, uh, Rouse, oh my god, I do, I forgot her name as well. Rouse, she shows her face there. Everyone treated the enemy with tender, loving care. All the enemies felt great. And there's some new areas over here which, with cars and cities. Just by looking from this man, oh my god, I just can't wait for the second chapter to come out. And from my perspective view, I think that this is like, um, like, Rouse, uh, like, uh, Susie and Chris actually went back to play with Rouse. I don't know how does that, how did that happen? After like, the, you know, they get out of the dark world. Maybe something new happened, now they're just enjoying their time there. And this is a mini game over there where Rouse, Susie and Chris are injecting the, <laughs> the freaking syringe to the other guys. And I'm pretty sure there won't be a genocide route. This game will be totally pacifist. But about the second picture, I have no idea where this is. It, it, it is, it is a new location. But, like the place it takes, it looks like some kind of modern technology Japan for me. I have no idea. I, because Just because the way it looks, and I know that Toby Fox is really likes Japan, so I think that he got this uh, inspiration from Japan cities. Alright, so, Deltrude, here we go, boys. I will make another. What does he mean by another? Another game? I am making a game called Deltrude. It is the second game in the Undertale series. But it is not in the same... I don't know if it's the same universe. He said that um, it is not in the same universe. The game will be released in many chapters, the first of which I released two years ago on Halloween, and I can't believe that. <laughs> I mean, like, this is Delta Rune chapter 1 is almost five, uh, five, three years. Where's the anniversary? God damn it, man. <laughs> Since that time, I've been working hard to figure out the rest of the game. However, it's a game that's much harder to make than Undertale. Graphics are more complicated and several times more involved. Even though it looks like it's just 8-bit again for me, I do know that I do know where he comes from, like because of the new graphics, systems are more complicated, exposes the weak points of my creative and artistic ability. What is much harder to tie together? This is interesting because I think that he, uh, he's trying to make some connection between the two different universes of Undertale and Deltarune because pretty much it's of uh, Gaster. It would be funny that Gaster Master is actually have the ability to travel through universe AUs and that he just stumbled upon Deltarune over here or maybe he's uh, an entirely different new person but there's only one uh, Gaster in the entire universe AU of Undertale Deltarune and he keeps playing through time and space like that through the void that's just my my opinion but it would be funny if the if is is somewhat of what I, I just said right now significantly more content than you Undertale in pl one playthrough especially the cutscenes and he has only made one game ever which is Undertale Unlike Undertale, this is the type of game that would normally have many designers working on each aspect of the game. So this time, instead of Toby Fox working alone, there will be a lot of people working on it. And I don't know how that will work out because unlike Undertale, it's just okay. Unlike Undertale, Toby Fox is the only person that works on it, thinks of everything, decides the mechanics and stuff like that, the system. So I think that it will have a new different vibe and new inspiration ideas for the uh, for the Elder Ring. A story writer, a composer, an audio director, a map designer, a battle designer, a mini game designer, and an overall director. Instead, all of those roles end up handled by me. People will like have a different opinions about this. Like, why don't you hire someone to work for your game and stuff like that? But I think that it is truly needs to be done only by. Uh, Toby Fox. He has the ideas, he has everything uh, of all the other people, uh, all the workers, the other people's uh, combined. He is one, but he is all of them. And even though the game may come out really, really late and people will uh, actually forgot, forget about Undertale, I mean Deltarune, and Deltarune the first chapter, I still think it's a good idea that he should be the one working on it mainly and on uh, not on everything but still you know and i hope that after he releases the other chapters there will be more deltarune fanmade games uh, in sense deltarune am i right <laughs> all right then so the good news is that a few months ago i completed a significant milestone regarding the game's design 
I completed re readable outlines for every chapter in the game. Every chapter. So he has already thought of the, the storyline for Delta Root. I guess he will only like make some fixes out there and there after time if there's something needed. Including first press dialogue for almost all the cutscenes, example of the music and etc. All the certain details are still hazy. The flow of the game and all major events and battles that take place are now clear. In summary, I largely spent the past few years writing, composing, designing and drawing. However, that's not the whole story. We had actually attempted to develop the game since the time too. Development started around March 2019 and 99% of work has spent was spent on investigating engines alternate to Game Maker to use for Chapter 1. Without getting into details, I decided a few months ago to go back to Game Maker after all. It still felt like the best fit for the project, so using Chapter 1 as a base, we started creating Chapter 2 since May 2020. So I think that what he's saying over here is like that he has actually has been doing his researches about a new engine similar to Game Maker for the game. After that, he went back to Game Maker since it's the best uh, option for the project or for the game. Yet still, you might argue that he just was wasted his time, but just look at this this way. He spent from March 2019 until the May of 2020 searching for a new engine, for a new way to create the game, to make the game even better than what it is. And after a lot of research, he decided to go back to Game Maker. That's not what you call a waste, wasting time. And I totally can see why the development has been a little bit slow. A lot of progress has been made since that time. I believe we can complete this chapter, content-wise, before the end of the year, not accounting for translation, but testing and porting. I feel very confident and the strange thing is, even though we ended up using the original engine, I don't regret the lost time. See? I told you guys. It's not wasting time. He, he just tried to find a new engine to make the game better, but if there is nothing else, he decided to go back to what he used before. Not only, I, uh, not only was I still busy designing the game, but during that long period, I was able to think of many ideas that makes the game's story and characters better. I'm glad I'm making Deltarune that I have now and that we are making LT progress. And there's some other pictures of the game over here as well. Oh ho oh, oh, ho, I'm a tough boy, treat me like one of your items. It seems that we have a uh, Lancer as one of the, of the keys. Is it to open a door? Is it to interact with another NPC in the game that we need to use Lancer for? I have no idea, but that is an interesting concept over there. And in the second picture over here, you can see that right now, instead of fighting, I mean, um, healing and injecting the syringes to the other guys, this time they are actually fighting them, and they are using the freaking space invaders uh, attacks over there. That's so cool, man. Now that I see this picture, it feels like there could be an, an alternative way. Instead of actually healing them, we can just hit them so they can get out the freaking of the match itself. Or it could have been just that these ones are, are just for fighting, and the other ones just wants to immerse it and stuff like that. I know I'm not the best at reviewing stuff like this, and I know that there could have been some other people uh, doing this better, a better job than me. But I hope you guys enjoy whatever I'm trying to say here, and uh, I'm trying my best as well. And finally, Deltrun status estimate. This there's a lot of it. I tried to put the status of the game in numbered estimates. Chapter two, uh, which is from I don't get what does this mean over here. Is it the work time maybe? Which they have done 100% of it, which is a phase one. So there will be phase. Ah, uh, it's just like chapter one where uh, you go on with the uh, with the new uh, location and stuff like that. That's what I believe. From uh, the school to the underground to the freaking uh, the fighting the boss and stuff like that. So we have the phase one, the design, phase two, the implementation. I want to read this stuff over here. It's mainly about the, the system and uh, the cosmetic of the games. And finally, phase three, finishing, balancing, bug fixing, translation, porting, everything is not yet done yet. Honestly, a lot of stuff feels like 80% to me, but the truth is that what's there is quite rough now. College ends up talking, uh, taking a lot of time, so the real actual time value may be around 50% done. We'll see what happens, it will be a lesson for everybody. Of the chapters 3 plus, which means that there are 5 chapters in total of Delta Rune. If, chap and if chapters has its own freaking game style, gameplay, and every single stuff like that, jeez, the storyline, oh my freaking god. I remember when I played Delta Rune, it actually took me like freaking 3 streams, and each stream was like 6 hours, 8 hours. Combining this, just let's put it like 20, uh, like 40 hours. 
each each chapter takes like eight hours depending on how you play it oh my freaking god not to say that there's also secrets and freaking mini games and stuff like that oh my god these numbers can be somewhat deceptive though my true design style is to reach the moment where we have to make something then suddenly think of something different at the last minute it's always how it's been with me and my work feels like no matter how much i plan everything comes down to what i think of at the last second and that's pretty much it for deltrude the other stuff are what are his thoughts about some stuff and some other notes about recruiting people uh, for the game to be faster and doing stuff like that i'll leave this page in the description it's mainly on um, on undertale.com as well so you guys can read it for yourself if you like to and that's pretty much it undertale deltarune once again i want to congratulate Toby fox on his and undertale fifth anniversary such an amazing game and i'm pretty sure once deltarune is out even though it might not be a big hit as much as undertale was i think that it will still be one of the best games out there when it's actually released and we will have new games fan -made games to play new musics so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video enjoy my blabbering about undertale deltarune and stuff like that i'll put all the stuff in the the link description if you guys want to check it out for yourself happy fifth anniversary for undertale and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you tomorrow bye bye